Over this week's small town live trip, we've made our way to Mineola's enchanting downtown. We find Neil Barton on Main Street. Neil, what have you found? It is a great place here because all these buildings have been restored to look like the 1940s. It's really old classic building, not what we have today. That's worth coming and seeing. Nevertheless, this is my new best friend, Owen Tyner, because a couple of moments ago, he gave me some fudge and gave me some peanut brittle, which I won't bring back to the newsroom. It'll never make it back. Don't ask. But anyway, good stuff here, plenty of good eats. In fact, a couple of moments ago, we saw this guy pull up there and walk off with a fried pie. They make fried pies yeah, in downtown. Right, right over here. Right over here at the Ladybug Jungle, they uh, farmhouse fried pies. Very famous. <laughs> don't, don't tell my wife that she'll move here to Minneapolis. So anyway, uh, we talked about some of the great things that the city has. First of all, you guys also have a wonderful, you get away from town, a beautiful nature preserve. Tell me about that. And we have 3,000 acres nature preserve. It's right out there on uh, the Sabine River. It goes all the way all the way down the Sabine River. I had no idea this was the birding capital of East Texas. Yes, they, they make sure that they get every bird that, that's out there on, on camera for sure. <laughs> and they take it seriously. Oh, yeah. Those lenses are this long. Is there like birding season or something like that? Not really. It's a uh, year-round. They're out there year-round. Now, speaking of a uh, year-round, you have stuff here year-round downtown, but one thing that's coming up is the Veterans Parade. Yes, we have uh, an annual Veterans Day Parade. It's a very big deal down here. That'll be on Saturday, um, November 12th. And needless to say, you're going to be doing something special for Christmas as well, right? Right. We're going to do a big promotion of Christmas time. We have carriage rides on uh, the first weekend on that Friday, and we have a huge Christmas parade, and Santa's going to be down at the gazebo for the kids. What's it, what's it called? It's called Magical Miniola this year. Magical Miniola. Once again, give me that date once one more time. It'll be December 3rd. December 3rd. What times? Uh, it'll be the Christmas parade at 5:30, but we'll have shopping and things all day long. And there'll be Santa, right? Oh yeah, Santa's. Well, one last more uh, thing. Last week we, we've been making the, the rounds in East Texas cities. The sesquicentennial for you is coming up as well. Yes, 2023 is 150 years of Mineola, and we are very excited. We're going to celebrate all year long. Before I cut you loose, anything that you want someone who doesn't know anything about Mineola, what they should know about? They should come downtown. This is where they, they, where it's happening, and, baby. And when they get tired of this, go out to the nature preserve. It's where history meets nature is what it would like to say. Bring your checkbook and bring your camera. Exactly. Oh, and thank you very much. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. All right. It's time to go eat some sweets. <laughs> Back over to you, ladies.